We got a major bag fumble, and we got a major touchdown only on today's episode of Exhausted Reviews, where I'm exhausted and I make reviews. Starting off with ZOM 100, this episode was a bit on the slower side, I do have to admit, but I think it ended up in a very good place. We started off at this club, and we've got this guy talking to some survivors. He's like, don't worry, little girl. Us, us hosts will take care of you. It's a promise. And then we cut to the, the, the dudes outside, literally, like, about to freaking get zombified and shit. <clears throat> then we got our boy over here just riding his motorcycle to and from. He's like, man, it's packed here down here in Shinjuku. So... We're going pretty good so far. We are meeting, I think we met this blonde guy in the opening. I think he's going to be show up in the episode with a different hair color. But this episode, is honest, it's, it's honestly, not a whole lot happens. We get some funny interactions with him and his beard. We get him getting internet back, which was a good, a good uh, get bag. And he's finally able to call a friend, so he's, he's trying to call people. And... You know, he's just, like, thinking about how his life kind of sucked before, you know? And he was like, why didn't I quit that job sooner? And he remembers his old friend, Kencho, who told him to quit. And he's like, hey, you know what? There might be something here. So then we cut to who is presumably our friend, Kencho, who is locked up. Yeah, he's locked himself in a kinky funhouse room with, uh, where is it? He's got, uh... He's got a little kinky friend chained up with him. It's kind of hilarious. He's literally got like a whole ass like <laughs> girl chained up all kink kinky style. You can see it here. But it's, I thought this was, this is a crazy uh, detail. The animators of Japan are really having fun with this series and just putting in as many weird details as possible. So you've got him flashback into his big homie He's like, man, I was really bullshitting. And he calls him. And he calls him. He's like, Kencho, what's up? He's like, please fucking save me, bro. Fucking save me, dude. So he gets there and he's uh he's remembering the time when they were all when he was talking with him. He's like, come on, man, you should come join me at my job. Yeah, I'm a I'm chatting up celebrities and entertaining our politicians. This is my my big titty girlfriend. She's a model. Basically just bragging to him, telling him to uh Get a, get a job and come work with us. And bro was like, he's like, bro, like, can you chill? You're kind of like rubbing this shit in my face, bro. It's kind of funny. I think I feel like that was the last time they talked to each other. And then our, our boy over here, who promised the girl they would be okay. He uh, he's about to he's about to meet his untimely demise, and then suddenly a, a car horn goes off. So our boy. His life is spared for now. He might show up later, but for now, like, he is alive and well. So there's our girl right there, still chained up. Still hilarious, by the way. I, I love this. And my man is able to use the car as a distraction to gather all the zombies in the area so he can safely make it inside of here. And then, finally, 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 after, after hobbling up like a freaking zombo, our, our dynamic duo is united. Looks like this is going to be our, our first mainstay character. I know the other girl is probably a main character, but this guy is our first official party member. She's the rogue. This guy's a party member. So <clears throat> he's like, bro, you were right. I should have quit my job. I hate life. Everything is so bad. I'm going to scream because I'm so happy. And then literally he screams and the zombies come back. So they've got to run upstairs. They're staring across these two buildings. And bro was like, I'm going to jump. And at this point, it's like, yeah, I would probably jump too. Because it's either jump or be torn to shreds by zombies. So if I have to pick between the two, I'm probably going to jump. He's going to jump right across this building over here. So he's literally going to jump across this and to go through that gap. <clears throat> and surprisingly, he takes the leap of faith. And you know what? He makes it. He yeah, has a little banged up, but he still got to the other side. And that's what's important. And that's that's his, his mantra in life now. Is even if you have to jump, just make it to the other side. And this guy's like, man, I know he came all this way. 
But I sorry, I lied to you. I was lying to my I was lying to you, I was lying to everyone. I felt bad about my job, I hated my job. The gorgeous models, everything was a lie. Well, not really a lie, but I was just lying to myself because I wasn't feeling happy. But I did really have sex with all those models, and I did really have a four-way with three girls. But none of that matters now, because the world is ending, and I need to be, I want to be a stand-up comic. And that doesn't alert any zombies, him screaming that out. But uh, they finally break through, and he's able to do it, and he takes his leap. And while he's leaping, bro literally, literally sheds his clothes, bro. Bro literally gets naked while he's uh, mid-air. So no wonder he lost a little bit of uh, air time. Look, that's some Looney Tunes shit. He's like about to f fucking fall out of mid-air. <laughs> and bro spent his sweet time helping him, bro. Bro literally spent like 30 seconds of him letting, like, letting him hang there before he decided to reach out and grab him. It was crazy. The guy, my aunt, and then he scrapes his balls, too. So we get a new party member, uh, I totally forgot his name again, as I am one to do. But they're both naked now, and they're just hanging out, just bros being bros. He's finally got himself a bro, and now they're finally about to start living their lives how they want to be. Living their lives, and this guy's going to be the one to get us through the zombie infection. <laughs> and then right before we get to the, the credits, we see them sleeping buck-ass naked. And number 32 is crossed off the list. Drink and laugh with my best bud. So his best bud is still alive, thankfully, and he was able to have a very, very good day. So definitely gotta love this show. This show is great. The vibes are all here. The pacing of the show was a little, this episode was a little bit slower. I am not gonna lie, okay? Not everything's gonna be perfect. But overall, I give this episode like, uh, like an 8 out of 10, 7.5 restrained. It's pretty good. Looking for some more exciting things to come forward out of this series, and I'm definitely looking forward for some more zombie actions. Now, when it comes to things to look forward to, another I'd like to add to the list is looking forward to coming up and not holding that B and not holding that L. That's exactly what I want to examine when we look at Mushoku Tensei, because this man, bro, he fumbles big time in this episode but it, it's for the character development he's getting all cozy with this girl sarah after she saved it after he saved her life and she's like you want to get you want to go shopping with me so they go shopping throughout the entire uh they go shopping throughout the intro and he's uh yeah no it's actually really cute they're shopping they're, they're buying like, new knives and stuff they're really getting to know each other. They were having dinner. She's like, oh, yeah, I use a bow because my dad was a hunter. So I'll feel closer to my dad like that. And so she's like, you know, I've been drinking a lot. And uh, well, she, she definitely like is like laid up on like she's definitely turned around on him to the extent. I don't know. I could see them potentially dating at this point. But <clears throat> Rudy is still trapped in his old body uh, mentality. So he doesn't really like. He doesn't act like a normal kid his age. He acts like an older guy trying to be a bit more modest in his actions. So, like, he's got a lot of baggage going on. If he was any other, like, 16-year-old or whatever, this wouldn't be this would be fine. But she literally, bro, she literally pulls up on him with the the full arm grab, bro. The, the full entire arm grab. And then he brings her to her room and she's like, bro, sit down. And this is where I have to uh, start docking points. Cause we get to some good stuff here with she's like you can uh you can do me and he's like let's do it they don't even kiss bro you should have at least tried to kiss before you just jump straight into it but also this this is kind of a little fast too for my taste especially in a party in a work setting situation you don't want to just like jump into this so he's like he's trying to get it he's trying to get into a good headspace and it's literally not working and then they literally cut from him right here to literally this bro was literally clothed 10 seconds ago now he's naked and i'm pretty sure he's like i bro they don't show what is going on here i feel like his dick is out but it's, you know, it's just fucking tiny but it's it's totally completely censored and her clothes are already back on too so i really have to wonder what got cut because they cut back to this too and the entire thing is censored too why is the whole screen censored you guys couldn't just put like a little flare on it you have to do 
the entire screen censored? Are you guys serious? That's a little, that was kind of totally whack. Rudy gets left in the dust and he ends up drinking and been getting into a fight with this dude too. And he's just like, he dude wails on him with his little teenage fist. And he's like, bro, like you always looking down. You always giving me shit. Why are you giving me shit all the time? I'm so sad and depressed and blah, 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 blah. So he hears him out and he, he tells him about, uh, he tells him about Sil, not Sylphie, uh, Eris. And how Eris took his, took his V card and walked out without even like a, a thank you note or she didn't even give him any V bucks for his time. So he's very, very upset. And he, this is when he really starts to bond with this guy. Pator, I think his name was. Because Pator, the last few episodes, last two episodes, has kind of just been like a, an arrogant kind of like shitbag. He's just been like here to kind of, he's kind of like, I got a bone to pick with you, Rudy. But I think it's just because he can tell Rudy's not being honest with himself. And he doesn't like, he wants this guy to be, uh, be able to function like this. So he ends up taking him to a special place where men go to soothe the desires. The freaking ho house. He takes him to a brothel. And bro, she he's with this this big titty goth girl over here. She's looking at him up and shit. I'm pretty sure he paid the dude paid for his stuff too. She's over here doing a sexy little strip show, trying to get him to bed and shit. And what happens? Fucking nothing, bro. He doesn't get anything done with her. He's uh he's got a serious mental block going on right now. So he just he's having a hard time. And he's drunk as shit. And you can, you already know some shit's going to go down when Rudy is, is saying some drunk shit. So he's like clearly being a fool. This man is kind of a fool. So he's like, uh, he, bro literally starts uh, like shouting shit in the middle of the square about comparing his like the, the, the counter era leader to Sarah saying like, Sarah's got a fucking child body. Selena's, uh, she's got some big fat titties, bro. She's got some motherfucking honky donkey, but donker knockers, bro. She got some go hoinka doinka boinka twinkas. And bro's like, hey, yo, shut the fuck up. And he was like, why would I shut the fuck up, bro? This bitch is just a hookup. Nothing more to me, nothing less. And bro, she is mad. She, she smacks the shit out. She smacks him so hard, the screen turns white, bro. And she leaves. Selena's like, yeah, bro, you 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 kind of wild for that one, bro. Too bad because she was she was the pretty one too. So it, it sucks that he he lost the both of them. And this scene right here, she drops the knife. Pretty sure this is the knife she wanted to give Rudius or something. And bro, my man Rudius, after suffering the biggest fumble of 2023, he goes for it, bro. He freaking goes for it. Rudy freaking goes for the neck. It is wild, bro. Dude, my man's life is over, bro. Look at you, bro. He he was ready. He was so ready. And he and now, like, bro was like, clearly there's nothing for you here anymore, bro. And I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But you're going to have to come with me. You know, you might be a little shit. You know, you're a little shit bag. But I can tell you're going through some shit. You have some stuff for you to work out. So come join us on our, on our trip to the death dungeon. We're going to make a man out of you. And he's like, Wow. You know, I, I, not, all it took was talking with one to one with the guy for me, for him to accept me. Maybe he's cooler than I thought. And then at the very, very end, we see our girl over here, slutty elf girl, on her way. Apparently, I, I, she gets Rudy's location. So you know, I feel like Rudy, she is definitely gonna find Rudy and try to make a man out of him as well. If you feel what I'm saying. So we definitely have a lot of stuff to look forward to this season. I am hoping the next episode is called Letter of Recommendation. So I have a feeling we might jump back to Sylphie for some school stuff. Uh, or it could be, what's her name? Writing a letter of recommendation to, to Rudy. It could be a lot of things. But what it's not is a bad episode. Because Mushoku Tensei very, very, very often is just a super quality episode. Uh, I think they kind of skipped through a lot of stuff in this volume about his little uh, excursion in this other town so that they could get to some of the more, the more, the, the dungeon stuff, the real big dungeon stuff, not just him hanging out in town. So I'm really excited to see where this show goes. Super hype. I'll give this episode like an 8 out of 10 because Rudy, man, Rudy went fucking through it, bro. 
he was about to, man, he was about to do it. He was about to unend it all. So, definitely looking forward to this. If you guys are looking forward to more Mushoku Tensei, let me know in the comments down below. These are definitely two of my favorite shows of this season. And I'm just glad they come out on the same day. So, if you guys are, are uh, if you guys are liking this, yeah, leave a comment. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.